our president will start a war with Iran because he has absolutely no ability to negotiate. He's weak and he's ineffective. So the only way he figures that he's going to get reelected, and as sure as you're sitting there, is to start a war with Iran. The United States has the best military by far anywhere in the world. We have the best intelligence in the world. If Americans anywhere are threatened, we have all of those targets already fully identified, and I am ready and prepared to take whatever action is necessary. And that, in particular, refers to Iran. Under my leadership, we have destroyed the ISIS territorial caliphate. And recently, American Special Operations Forces killed the terrorist leader known as al-Baghdadi. The world is a safer place without these monsters. We took action last night to stop a war. We did not take action to start a war. I have deep respect for the Iranian people. They are a remarkable people with an incredible heritage and unlimited potential. We do not seek regime change. However, the Iranian regime's aggression in the region, including the use of proxy fighters to destabilize its neighbors, must end, and it must end now. The future belongs to the people of Iran, those who seek peaceful coexistence and cooperation, not the terrorist warlords who plunder their nation to finance bloodshed abroad. This is one of the greatest men. And before we start out, we'd like to pray over him. And we know we are people of prayer. So will you stretch your hands and pass and um, present Trump? These are some of your greatest faith leaders. They would love to pray over you. Pastor Jensen's going to start. Apostle Maldonado. And uh, we love you. Will everybody just stretch your hands towards the president before he gets up? Because we know that prayer makes a difference. Yeah.